Hello, I'm Gabriel with Western Dogs, and today I'm here with Cooper, and we're working on his little sledge walker. We've been here for a little while now, and it's really hot, and he might start to get started to pull to the house. But I'm gonna start walking. I'm gonna let this car pass, Cooper. I'm gonna have him. Hey, Cooper, sit. Oh, he's a little bit distracted. Cooper, yes. So what I liked, I put him to sit so he, if he would react towards the car, he did not. That's what I like. So I'm gonna start walking. Cooper, let's go. So if Cooper gets ahead of me, I'm gonna do a correction. If he stays behind, a correction as well. He does not, he does not decide the terms of our walk. We only we can decide the terms of our walk. So I'm keeping the leash loose so I don't give freedom to Cooper. If I, if I would give him more leash, he would stay away from me. But I want to keep the leash loose. I don't want to have tension on the leash. But for now, this is a good walk. There's another car coming. So I'm going to take this opportunity as well to have Cooper just be by my side and see how he would react toward the car. And that's very good. He has no reaction towards the car. This is very good. He's not pulling. This is a good walk. So now I'm going to stop. And what would be perfect if every time we stop, Cooper, hey, he would offer us a sit. So what we're going to do, hey, Cooper, sit. Every time we stop, he offers a sit, we treat. Good job. For now, this is very good. Next time, we're going to add more distraction, make it a little bit tougher.